our business team. What does 21st century outplacement look like? Um, one of the key things is flexibility. So you will be looking at individuals that, may, that will all have different skill sets, and that's particularly relevant in the, the media sector, um, where you have people who've not been into the job market maybe for five years, and you've got people who are quite comfortable with that. So in terms of their demands, what we typically find is they're not looking for a service where you do A, B, C, and D, which may start at CV writing, then go to interview skills, and so on and so forth. What, you, what they're looking to do is identify what their strengths and weaknesses are and then put a program together which meets that. And that can be, as it says there, on individual one-to-one -one programs. And that's broken down even nowadays between a lot of telephone coaching that takes place and also face-to-face -face and a mixture of those two. Uh, group workshops with individual follow-up sessions. Increasingly, we find that we would start off in a group environment and then people will have some individual support. And again, that can be uh, mixed up with telephone or one-to-one -one sessions. Online support is, is key. Um, most most organisations ourselves run their own online um, support in terms of what we call a virtual resource centre, which helps you with the emotional support, it helps you with job search, it helps you with research when you're going, going to look for roles, and it basically helps you to develop yourself through that period in between the one-to-one -one sessions that take place. And interestingly, also a combination of all of the above, which you'd expect. Other things that we're looking to do, and again, this is to move us away from where we're just being called when there's bad news, is that we can help with, say, negotiations for salaries and packages, but also sometimes we come across people who find themselves roles fairly quickly. So there what we would do is help them with the first coaching for the first 100 days into their new role. So they've got themselves a job, but in, in a lot of cases sometimes people may need a sounding board, uh, a friendly ear as it were, just while they're going through that process during the first three months to make sure that they settle in and retain the job because that's obviously the key period. So it's not only about getting a job, and again that provides flexibility. Um, which is the delivery method best for, for you as HR professionals um, in terms of what you tend to look at is the, the levels of people. So increasingly in this marketplace, we see more groups of people coming out. But probably if you'd talk to us probably uh, 12 months, 18 months ago, there'd be more just individuals, individual programs leaving. Whereas at the moment, we are seeing more higher numbers of people leaving organizations. So then, as, as HR professionals, you would look at mixing management levels, support staff board levels, and looking at different programs for them. And typically, concerns tend to be about length of service. Geographical location means that typically, if people are spread throughout the UK, you won't be able to put together group workshops. Um, and the key thing is, ultimately, is budget. And we have, as a business, we have programs that we'll put together, but it comes back to the flexibility. Ultimately, organisations have a budget to work to, and we would put together the best services around the budget that you, you're looking for. Channel 4 was a client that we um, have worked with from the back end of last year. Um, and it's, again, you're probably as aware as uh, ourselves in terms of the scenario. There's a restructuring project. We, as a business, were working with staff at all levels. Um, in this situation, it was just London-based staff. So Channel 4 basically said they worked with us because the flexibility of the services, because typically in media organizations, you don't have deep levels of people doing the same types of jobs. So it means that you need to have a flexible um, approach to that. The background of our consultants very much in the media uh, marketplace and also the style and fit with the culture, where we had a flexible approach. Our consultants would start at a certain point. They wouldn't pr presume that they knew exactly what it was. There was a lot of reflective talk with the individuals. The online tools and the recruitment, the recruitment um, network that we have. And again, one of the key things within this media sector is that the the ability to network is key to be able to secure the next role 
and it's able to impart that knowledge. The service, um, in terms of the starting point, and this touches again, links in with what Peter said, is that what Channel 4 offered was one-to-one -one coaching. But the presumption wasn't that everybody who came to see us wanted to look at their next career move. So our starting point is a little further back where we'd say, are you interested in self-employment? Would you like to be a consultant? So there isn't that assumption that, OK, the first thing you do when you come through us is to get you into that next role. At the marketplace at the moment, self-employment is not the most attractive option, but it means that people can start looking for maybe a new role, but as in the background, be able to maybe look at self-employment for a future, future career. And again, that's the value in terms of the 21st century approach where you're looking to add value and have people looking forward over a period of on the rest of their career where they can look and explore options rather than just going to the next role and then sitting in your next role. These are just some examples of some of the success stories um, that we've had with, with people either being redeployed, actually going out back out into the marketplace, um, or going into different sectors, as it were. And that's, that's happened in the settlement times for these three individuals um, has been there over the period of not three months. For the individual, again, I've sort of touched on this a little bit, is one of the key things that we look to do is share the learning. So it's not about getting just the next role that you're looking for. It's about, if you've never kept up a regular CV, start to do that. When you go on to training courses, make sure that you consistently add that information into your, into your CV. But also, look to improve on your networking. Again, that comes back to this, this sector where, where it's key. Um, and it's all about saying, OK, we're here and now. If this situation ever occurs, occurs to you in the future, you'll be in a far better place to be able to manage that. The other thing that we do as well as a business, and again, I've touched on this a little bit, but this just goes into a bit more detail, is one of the things that we, we look to do is to make sure that we support the HR teams, because increasingly we find that HR professionals need that help. It's busy. Um, we put together a support program when we work with clients, which is a structured account, ma account management process. Um, the program details are there for you so that if you're going into meetings, to give bad news, you have all the program details that's there, and you have KPIs, you have service level agreements, reporting and feedback. One of the things that, you, that we constantly hear is, as a business, we just get you, you, the, the service you deliver is excellent, but we don't get enough feedback in written format. So people go, yeah, no, you're great, you're great. But if, as HR professionals, if you're saying, OK, we've spent X amount on outplacement, show me what the return is. We need, as a business, we need to get better at doing that um, to make sure that you can see return on investment. One of the other things as well is added value. So we run regular networking events. We run regular conferences. You've, I think you've been handed out research material to make sure that we're at the forefront of our own business um, to ensure that if you're coming to us, we, you're able to be happy in your own minds that the information we're imparting to people is the best, best level of knowledge within the industry. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. But thank you very much.